this is t set a b c d and welcome to another katan video here on my channel so today i am playing a casual game and in this game i am in the second position and i am playing on the black forest map uh, in my previous video i did make quite a big blunder in with my first placement and in this video i'll surely make i'll take lessons from that so here i have the option of placing a settlement either on 8 10 or on 9 5 or uh, i think 9 5 is a little better because this way i will be blocking 6 5 9 as an option and i think for my second placement i can easily get something like maybe 9 4 10 or maybe even 5 4 10 Uh, let's take a look at the rules though oh, vp is needed to win is 14 discard limit is 10 that's quite nice friendly robber is inactive so surely we'll have to make use of my cards uh, soon because holding on to them might prove backfire your orange is forced to go on 3 5 It does go for six five ten. Your black can go for eight five ten. Yeah, I was just going to say that. And now, I can go for either nine four ten or eight four two, or maybe even five ten four. Yeah, none of these are very very enticing. I think. Um, In the end, I might just go with nine ten four here. And the good thing is, I do discover ore, so that's quite nice. I believe red can actually now just go for something like uh, maybe nine five two or eight four two. yeah none of these are too enticing but red does have good expansion spots and you win know, red discovers ore so that's quite nice actually that three out of the four players have discovered ore here and red discovers wheat as well so that is quite strong for red here i'll just build a road towards the ore tile <coughs> Actually, I can build a road towards six, nine here. I think, and I discover wheat, so that is quite nice. Also, production would be quite strong on six, six, nine. I am a little dependent on sixes. I would have preferred if this was a eight, because now I do have something like six wheat, six wood, and six ore. yeah and these early sixes not helping me much wouldn't mind a nine rolling uh, that would be quite nice a four is fine as well i think i'll just um, hold on to these cards for now i want to get a settlement before i start going for dev cards and early on my number production is not very high because 10 4 are not very probable i don't have any placement on 6 or 8 so that's why i think holding on to these cards might be a better option that said red rolls the 7 red can block the 8 word here yeah does block the 8 word and uh, 
gets a settlement as well i roll a 7 and i think blocking red is completely fine here i do get wheat though not the card that i'm looking for but um, at least this gives me the chance of going for a dev card and get a knight which is completely fine um i think monopoly on this board is quite strong especially because there are so many options of monopolying wood yeah i'll surely go for one wood uh, in place of two ores So if a 9 rolls here, I will be able to get a city immediately. That said, I would also want to get settlements sooner than later. So yeah, let's see if I can get any trade. I don't think so I will. But it is worth asking. Or else I will just play my Monopoly and uh, I will get a city soon. Sorry, play my Knight and get a city. So now nines would be even stronger. I get three wood every time a nine is rolled. Not sure what orange is thinking because orange only has two cards, one of which is a sheep. So yeah, just end, should end the turn. Wow. Red is surely in a very, very strong position, getting good numbers and good resources as well. He is the only one who produces wheat and um, will soon start producing brick yeah well, gets a settlement immediately so very lucky for red there still exploring and wow that's a great expansion spot on 6 8 10 for red here unfortunately i cannot do anything so i'll just hold on to these cards and end my turn In this turn, I will be able to get my settlement. So that's the plus on 669. Increase my production. Yeah, I'll surely go for a 1 is to 1. I don't mind that. But maybe trading with orange would be a bad option because orange can actually block me by building a road settlement. Your red rolls a 7 would want to block the 5 wood, I believe. And maybe target black. 
Wow, blocks me instead. Hopefully it doesn't steal from, oh, it was actually bot who did the targeting there and steals from me. So that's unfortunate because now I don't have a settlement in hand. Yeah, I think now just targeting red is quite a easy choice. He has a huge lead. I would surely want a few nines to roll now because each nine will now give me four wood. Yeah. Wow, these twelves are quite unfortunate. I think more than nines, elevens and twelves have rolled so far. Would want that to normalize another twelve here. Not sure what orange wants to do. I think red will just try and get a settlement or maybe it's yeah I think I can still do a one is to one okay gets a quick one is to one with black finally a nine rolls that's quite nice for me and a five which is also fine And I get sheep. So that is actually quite nice. The only unfortunate part of this is I still am on the very same numbers. Like I'm not exploring any new numbers. Sixes and nines are the only numbers that I have explored. So now every time a six rolls, I will be able to get ore, wheat, sheep and a wood. So that does seem very strong, like sixes for me. Nines are also especially strong for me. I get five wood every time a nine is rolled. And a six is rolled there. Yeah, but nobody got wood. I was the only one who got uh, or we cheap. Yeah, I think red will block me here on the maybe six wood. Blocks me on the nine wood. I don't mind that particularly because I still get three wood if a nine is rolled. I roll a 10. Um, surely we'll try and explore the new tile and I get more ore. Actually, that is quite nice. I can act get another city here, but I think more than a city, I would and also a new number. So that is quite nice. But more than a city, I would rather explore a new island or a new fog tile. And with the cards I have in hand, I think I can go for a dev card. I get a VP, not the card that I was looking for. I think VP is very poor on this board, especially when uh, like VP is needed to win is 14. So maybe it's not the worst case scenario to be honest, but still not great. Okay. 
and wow i get five wood here so the good thing about this exploration that i've done on the top left is once i get a settlement there i will have two new numbers because as of now i don't get anything whenever a eight or a ten is rolled Surely don't mind fours either. Hopefully, I don't roll a seven. And yeah, just as I said it, I do roll a seven here. but i can still get my settlement so it's not the worst case scenario just yet and wow that 6 is excellent giving me wood two sheep a wheat and a ore and followed by a 9 so that is excellent for me i will soon be able to get another city red plays and i targets me which is completely understandable so now i can get a city but i think going for a dev card is fine i get a knight which is completely fine and now i will build two roads down here just so that i can explore a new island i get brick which is quite nice i can explore another island here uh, another fog tile and that would stop red from exploring it so i'll go for it i get wheat which is exactly the card that i'm looking for because this gives me the opportunity to get another dev card so now i do not have any islands to explore anymore or any fog tiles to explore anymore also i can fight for the longest road just if i just by connecting my set city and my settlement here but before that i would like to get another uh, city or a settlement maybe 659 654 is a good uh, settlement spot that gives me brick production as well which i don't have any of right now and here most likely red will target me because i do look quite strong especially because i have three unplayed dev cards as well I wouldn't mind if my sheep is stolen anything else could be a little bit of a blocker in my hand it steals my wheat that's unfortunate yeah I would have I would not uh, I do not like wheat being stolen it's not a resource that I produce a lot of here i get more ore but there is nothing that i can do with all this ore in my hand so yeah my hand is stuck a little so i'll just end my turn and now an excellent 6 but now i am and yeah, immediately i am punished
Here, red is trying to get a settlement on 8410. Sorry, orange is trying to get a settlement on 8410. And wow, red keeps on rolling sevens and red is targeting me, which is a little unfortunate because yeah, it does target me again. And this time I do not even have a knight in hand. So hopefully I roll a seven. I do roll a seven. That's quite nice. And I think my only option is to go for a dev card. I do get a knight. So if red does not have a knight, I will be able to get the largest army on my turn. Red should at the very least be able to get the longest road on his turn. Oh, there are exactly zero wood. So if red has a monopoly, this could be one of the best monopoly plays here. Okay, has a year of plenty. So it's just trying to get a, yeah, gets a city and maybe a settlement as well. Yeah, okay, gets the longest road, which is fine. I think targeting red is the only option here. Here, I think I'll just go for a dev card and a settlement. Let me get the dev card first. I get road building. That is quite nice actually. So A road building will help me fight for the longest road. And because black and red cannot connect their settlements uh, easily, I should be in the fr forefront when it comes to fighting for the longest road. Here, there is not enough wood. Also, I cannot get any more settlements. I do need to get a city before I can build any settlements now. Okay, so does play a monopoly on wood. So I think orange in this turn will be able to get a settlement and a city because of that monopoly. A single six will actually give me a city now. Okay, green just gets a settlement and a dev card and there is the six that I wanted. Perfect role for me at this point. Wouldn't mind rolling another six will give me a dev card, actually two dev cards and a city. So another six would be quite nice. Instead I roll a eight. Okay. So I think my only option is to go for a city and end my turn.
so now every time a six is rolled i get seven cards that is huge wow another six there hopefully orange does not have another monopoly or else it will be quite bad for me wow he did have another monopoly so orange got very lucky pulling both the monopolies and so hopefully no sevens are rolled and yeah i think I am the one who is jinxing it. Every time I say that a seven should not be rolled, a seven has been rolled. And red blocks me again. Maybe targets uh, orange here. Yeah, does target orange. here i will surely play my knight and uh, secure the largest army for now and i believe i need to target orange as well and i roll another 7 okay so i will be able to get a couple of dev cards on this turn which is completely fine now that both the monopolies have been played now i am hoping for vps and a knight would be fine as well actually i just get two vps there so i win the game quite easily there with four vps yeah lots of seven this game but i think sixes were huge for me yeah and just getting four vps was quite nice i did not even have to play my road building or anything of that sort but here if you see production wise i got very lucky because of the sixes i was very dependent on them and they did uh, prove to be quite useful i also had to lose the most resources by rolling a seven I think thrice maybe in this game, but overall quite a fun game. Uh, I actually like playing Black Forest. Uh, I think after Seafarer, this would be my favorite uh, game mode. But um, yeah, I generally these are just casual games, so it's more for fun. Anyway, uh, bye for now, and see you again in the next video. Bye bye.